Yes, we are dealing with another chapter from chemistry known to be thermodynamics. So, first of all, we are going to start with definition and properties of thermodynamics. So, first of all, we should define thermodynamics and then we discuss properties of thermodynamics. So, what about definition of thermodynamics? It is the branch of chemistry which deals with what kind of study? Study of different forms of energy and quantitative relationship between them. So, what are maybe the different forms of energy? So, that we are going to correlate with this type of study. What is this type of study known to be? Quantitative relationship between different forms of energy. That is nothing but thermodynamics. So, this is first part regarding definition. Then, what about properties of thermodynamics? Properties of thermodynamics are, this is first property. Bulk of substance, due to bulk of substance, thermodynamics is known to be what type of property? Macroscopic property. So, as we are going to discuss substance in larger quantity, thermodynamics is known to be which property? Macroscopic property. What about second one? In case of thermodynamics, Property value depends upon initial state and final state. Keep in mind, in thermo, we are dealing with this part. Property value depends upon initial state and final state. What is third one? Thermodynamics is not related with internal structure of the particle. And that particle may be atom, ion or molecule. Keep in mind, particle may be atom, ion or molecule. Its internal structure is not related. What is fourth property? Thermodynamics is not related with kinetics of the reaction. Means, we are not going to discuss rate of chemical reaction in case of this chapter known to be thermodynamics. And what is last property? It is not related with time factor. So, once again, we rapidly revise this part, introductory definition of thermo followed by its properties. So, thermodynamics is nothing but branch of chemistry which deals with what kind of study? different forms of energy and quantitative relationship between them. What about different properties of thermo? Due to larger quantity of substance, it is macroscopic property. Property value depend upon initial state and final state. It is not related with internal structure of particle, maybe atom ion or molecule. It is not related with rate of reaction and last factor, it is not related with time. Next one. So, in this chapter, regarding theoretical discussion, numericals and MCQs, we are dealing with three basic terms known to be system, surrounding and boundary line. So, can you tell me what we mean by system? Anybody? So, when we are dealing with physics practical, suppose we are performing sound experiment, uh, we require that glass column under study liquid, then tuning fork, rubber pad for hammering, so that become our system. In case of bio, suppose we are going to perform particular experiment regarding a dissection together. So in this case what happened? We require dissection tray, dissection box, that particular species that also becomes system. In case of chemistry, suppose we are performing titration, we require burette, pipette, conical flask, indicator, etc. So that also become our system. So in case of thermo, what do we mean by system? Part of universe or portion of the universe which is selected for experimental study that is known to be system. Then what about surrounding? Other than system, what may be the remaining part that become our surrounding? And what is third important term known to be real? Boundary line. So it is real or imaginary line which separate system from surrounding. So once again keep in mind three important definitions. System, surrounding and boundary line. What is system? Portion of the universe under experimental study. What is surrounding? Portion of the universe other than system. And what is boundary line? Imaginary or real line which separates system from surrounding. That is known to be BL, boundary line. Then, next part we are going to discuss types of system. So, what is criteria in front of you? Depending upon exchange of energy and matter, we are going to explain types of system. What is first type of system? Open system. Or open system indicate system in which there is exchange of both. Which one? Energy as well as matter. That kind of system is called as open system. 
can you tell me simple example of open system hot liquid in open container there is exchange of both energy as well as matter so it become what kind of system open system for the second one known to be closed system there is exchange of only energy no exchange of matter that kind of system is called as closed system so what is example hot liquid in closed container that indicate what kind of system closed system what about third one isolated system what about in isolated system if we consider system where there is neither exchange of energy nor of matter that kind of system is called as isolated system so what should be our example what liquid in thermos flask that indicate isolated system so once again keep in mind depending upon exchange of energy and matter there are three kinds of system in open exchange of both energy as well as matter in closed exchange of energy no exchange of matter and in case of isolated system neither exchange of energy nor that of matter so that indicate what kind of system isolated system we provide respective examples so in addition to these three there are other types of system homogeneous system heterogeneous system and macroscopic system so what itself suggests definition what is homogeneous system that system which comprises only one phase throughout that become homogeneous what is heterogeneous system that system which comprises two or more phases that become heterogeneous system and what is the last one macroscopic system so what itself suggests definition that system which comprises large number of particle that system is called as macroscopic system so next point so next point we are going to discuss types of properties there are two types of properties can you tell me with respect to thermodynamics what are the two types of properties first is in front of you extensive properties what is second one intensive properties so you have to focus on this word which one those properties whose value depends upon quantity of substance that quantity may be less or more that doesn't matter so those properties whose value depends upon quantity of substance these properties called as extensive properties what about example simple one mass if you take less quantity of substance that value will be lesser one if you take much more quantity of that same substance then value will be greater one so those properties whose value depends upon quantity of substance such properties called as which one extensive so for mcq purpose keep in mind additional example mass volume enthalpy entropy internal energy so these are different kinds of properties known to be extensive properties what about another one reverse condition intensive properties so what you are going to focus here those properties whose value does not depend upon quantity of substance means quantity may be less or more that doesn't matter so such properties are called as intensive properties so what are the examples pressure density ri refractive index specific heat then surface tension viscosity physical constant like melting point and boiling point so these are what kind of properties intensive properties so for mcq purpose keep in mind there are two types of properties extensive and intensive in case of extensive property value depends upon quantity these are the examples in case of intensive property value does not depend upon quantity these are respective examples next point in addition to types of properties we are going to discuss types of functions this one keep in mind for mcq also what types of function indicate there are two types of function what is first one path function what is second one state function so what path function indicate those properties whose value depends upon path means here path is important not initial and final state so what we can correlate here those properties whose value depends upon path but independent of initial and final state such properties known to be what kind of function that is known to be path function what is example heat supply to the system work performed or work done that is known to be what kind of function path function then what is second one known to be state function so as what itself indicate here state is important not the path so 
those properties whose value depends upon initial and final state but not upon path. So that is known to be what kind of function? State function. So what is initial state? What is final state? That is important here. Path is not imported here by following which we can reach from initial state to final state. What about examples? Pressure. Suppose we find out del P. Del P, P2 minus P1. So it depends upon initial and final state. Del T, temperature, T2 minus T1. Similarly, volume, enthalpy, free energy, and entropy. These are the additional examples of what kind of function? State function. So keep in mind two functions. Path function, path is important, not the state. State function, here states are important, initial and final, not the path. And these are the corresponding examples.